a lot of common problems that students have stem from posture and holding the bassoon. We talked about this in detail during the basic setup portion of these videos, but I think it bears repeating because it's really crucial that they're stable and they're balancing the bassoon. So make sure they're not grabbing it. Make sure the thumb, the right thumb, is not resting here. One solution to that is, as I said earlier, to keep the thumb resting here. If that doesn't work, if it's a really persistent problem, you can take some stronger measures. One is to place a little bit of scotch tape right here. And just feeling that stickiness will remind them that their thumb is there and it shouldn't be. That'll work. If it doesn't, you can take one further measure of last resort that's a little more draconian. And that is to take a thumb tack and piece of tape. And tape a tack right there. And it's kind of, it's a little cruel. But it won't take too many times before the student will pretty quickly learn not to put his or her thumb there as a last resort. That is uh, pretty effective. Now, one other detail of position is how the bocal enters the mouth and the height that the bassoon should be. You often see students, they pull the bassoon way up and then they sit up to meet it. And this is very bad. I'm, I'm really tense when I do that. And it tends to hurt the neck because you're lifting the head up. The opposite problem is that they put it really low and then they go like this. And that's equally, equally tension producing in the neck. It's also bad for the sound. What you want to do is have them put the bassoon so that the reed really just enters kind of just at the lower lip. You don't want it to really come up, not directly into the mouth, but kind of hit here because then it's going to catch the reed as they form the embouchure and it'll be in the right place. 